Thank you very much for coming out tonight. We are Buck 09. <laughs> Okay, welcome to Japan. Welcome back to Japan for um, some people. Some, uh, two of you are the first time? First time. So, how is the impression of Japan so far? Great, man. It's an awesome city. People are so nice. You've had nothing but a blast here, you know? Uh -huh. I've heard nothing but good things coming over, so I was looking forward to it. Alright, getting good time. It's like New York without all the bums and then rude people. <laughs> Everyone's really nice here, it's all clean. It's, it's awesome. It's what every big city should be like. Okay, okay. And um, some of you came here a few years ago with um, the Voodoo Glow Skulls. Yeah, um, I just interviewed Voodoo, Voodoo Glow Skulls some um, like a week ago. Yeah, and are you guys good friends with them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we toured with them last uh, December. Was it? Yeah. In the US. Oh, really? Yeah, it was fun. We had a good time. Okay, tonight's the first show of this tour. How are you going to guys kick some butt today? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we, just had a, we just had a two hour uh, rehearsal and uh, we got everything set, so we're just going to go out there and, you know, we'll just have a good time. We'll drink a few okay. beers before we get out there and just, you know. Awesome. It's their first show here. It's my first time being here, and it's my first show with them. So uh -huh. it's kind of like, yeah. Oh yeah, um, I heard that you um, came in this band two days ago. Um, yeah, actually, last Monday was was the official yeah. second <laughs> audition. And um, yes, yeah, I'm happy to be here with so, jamming with these guys. Are you the permanent member of the band now? Yeah. Okay, so so tell us what happened with the. 
Um, well, he, uh, he, he quit. Yeah, he quit the band about a month ago and um, told us that he wasn't, he didn't want to tour anymore and he wasn't into it anymore. And he'd been fading away for quite a while. It seemed like he wasn't really as excited about being in the band anymore for the last like eight years. And uh, so he just, just took him eight years to quit. I guess. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> a long time, long time. Yeah, you know, he hasn't been happy since um, when we first all got together for our, from our first practice. I think he was uh, <laughs> he was happy the day before we had our very first practice together, and then since then he's been bummed out <laughs> for eight years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he's not motivated to do anything, so he would just kind of do it because he didn't really know how to get up and quit. Yeah, I think he was just, he was kind of one of those along for the ride kind of guys. But um, so now you know we're happy. I mean, John's going to be a great addition to the band, and, and Jeff has been a great addition to the band for the last year. And uh, you know, we're all seven of us. I think are always stoked now. So everybody's happy now. Yeah. 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 Big smile. I'm smiling. I'm smiling. Yeah. The Scott Core scene, Scott High Core, Scott Rock, Scott Metal scenes. The yeah, Scott Punk scene um, is really big now in Japan. It's still underground though. It's coming bigger and bigger. Right. And do you feel anything about the movement in Japan? I think uh, some of the fact that you guys have some really good local bands here too, you know, like the Brood Bones and the Gurry and stuff like that. You know, obviously in any situation, in anywhere in the world, you know, if there's local bands promoting that style of music and promoting that scene, that's always going to help it for international bands to be able to come. So, probably if it wasn't for those guys, you know, and all the bands that you guys have here, like Duck Missile and those bands, you know, it would be harder for us to come over here, you know, and, and, and a lot of people say that about, you know, the bands in the United States too, bands that come from Europe or Australia, you know, if we weren't out there driving around in our bands and trailers for years, you know, promoting ska and, you know, punk rock music and underground music like that, you know, it'd be harder for these other international <coughs> bands to come down. Do you think Japanese ska bands can go over to the States and... Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I think Kamuri's uh, been over there before, and I know that they have got themselves a little bit reputation going on over there, and I think if they can, you know, a band like them, they, if they continue to go over there frequently enough, they'll start to make waves, you know, and they'll start do you think to they be able to... do it? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 High standards has gone over yeah, I think they've done pretty good standards. Yeah. I mean, it helps, I think in America it helps in singing in English, and those bands do. I don't know if all the bands do. Uh, but most of them sing in English. Yeah, now. so that, I mean, obviously helps. Yeah, so yeah. High Standard played the band for the concert the other day. Uh, and they, they rocked, rocked the. They took. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they took all the crowd. That's wow, that's yeah. cool. It's totally cool. Very, very so do you think there's no border for um, what countries they're from? No. no, I don't think so at all. A good band's a good band. It doesn't really matter where you're from. You know, I mean, that's pretty much the age-old truth, I think. Yeah, that, that, that's a real cool thing about yeah. music. Yeah. About Definitely, yeah, that's universal. Exactly, exactly. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was bad. Yeah, we always do that. So everybody cool. respects them as it's good music, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I think. Yeah. 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 Yeah.